Hey, Muscle and Strength, this is Victor Martinez, Muscle Med athlete, about to give you some of my favorite chest tips. Again, this is about form, mass, and avoiding injury. Remember, barbell is the number one cause of injuries to your pec tears. Uh, and, uh, this is one way to actually avoid it, by pre-exhaustion. And the way you pre-exhaust is by starting off basically with some dumbbell flat flies followed by incline flies. I usually do this for about three to four sets. Again, high reps just to pre-exhaust, get that stretch, get a nice pump before you get that strong bench press. Let's go. I go up, but I don't let the dumbbells touch. I squeeze my chest. Constant tension, going low enough where you feel the tension, high enough where you get the squeeze. I never let my elbows drop. On a fly movement, if you let your elbows drop, it's no longer a fly, it's a press. Okay, you're done with flies, your chest is warmed up, got blood flowing, pre-exhausted. You're ready to get onto the power movement, which is flat bench press, everybody's favorite. So on this one, you have to, have to keep in mind range of motion. People tend to go too deep, elbows flare out. Again, the bench press is a power movement. You wanna go heavier, build that chest. So angles of the elbow, very important. Slightly lower to the side, this allows you to give more power to your chest. And that is why the more compact, the more power you have. So let's go, and again, as you go on the positive, you squeeze up without locking your elbows, squeeze your chest at the top, full contraction. Okay, this is the final tip for chest, the pec fly machine. Remember, at the top, you don't want to touch. You want to squeeze that pec. Squeeze it. The more you squeeze, more tension, constant tension, better form, better shape on your chest. So those are my favorite tips for chest. Again, techniques to avoid injuries and better form to create that mask. Please subscribe to the channel below and get some more tips.